Today we're gonna be catching some of the strangest fish that live in the ocean, the giant needlefish. We're gonna be shooting to catch three or four of these giant needlefish and bring them back to the saltwater pond. But the only problem is we have two monster man-eating groupers in here that will eat anything that swims in the water and needlefish are not very hardy so the transportation needs to be quick and the needlefish needs to be big. Now can we find a needlefish that's gonna be big enough for the saltwater pond? Let's find out. See, they're just eating like that. Oh my, oh my god. god! We're gonna try to catch two and bring two home to have a nice little school of needlefish in a pond. Is there a more on him? No. Yes, yes it is. is. Look at the baby remora. Got him, got him, got, got him. him. Let's go, baby. Got him. Hurry, dude, they're right there, they're everywhere. Oh, they're fighting over it, they're fighting over it. Let's go. You just got speared by a needlefish. Speared by a needle. That's that's a nice, that's a nice smorgasbord inside it's a there. It's buffet, bro. It's gonna buffet. be nice. Pots and pans are ready to rock and Pots roll. Pots and pans are a freaking liability. Major liability. Nice, Chris. Look at these. We got two more. They need to be stuffed, like, till they're vomiting, or else we can't put any fish in there, and we need to keep them stuffed. Now, before we feed the big boys, I do have some really terrible news about Barry the Barracuda, who was doing fantastic in this pond. He was one of the boys who was eating like a champ. You could practically hand feed this guy. He was eating live food, dead food, being an absolute beast, and surprisingly, he's not in here anymore, and it's not due to pots and pans. Every night when I do my checkup on the pond, I usually come out here right before it's dark, I turn the lights off, go back in, make sure everything's good, turn the lights off, go back in. This time, when I came out to do the nightly check, I saw Barry on the floor of the garage. So he must have jumped out, and it looked like it had just happened. He had some scales missing, but his gills were still moving, and I was like, okay, caught it in the perfect time. So I rushed him back into the pond, tried reviving him, I stayed there for a while, holding his tail, going back and forth with him, but it was slightly, too late, bad timing, and now we do not have a berry. The berries, or the small barracudas, are known to be jumpers, the small ones. The big ones don't usually jump like that, but the small guys, like 20, like berries, like, I don't know, 20 inches, those are jumpers. So the only way to have a cuda in here is to get like a 40 incher because nothing's gonna happen to that one. So that does suck to say because Barry was the heart and soul of this pond, so we need another heart and soul, that's a fact. These monsters right here, it's a non-stop buffet. Just constantly. Constantly rolling. Eating. This is gluttony at, at its finest. Go look from up top and look how big this fish is. It, it doesn't do it justice, bro. It doesn't do it justice, no. right? He's gotta Can I put be- my hand here and like, can you even tell? No. He's, he's gotta be like 35 inches. I'm not even kidding. He's like a 15 pound fish, maybe 20. Can you imagine catching a 15 pound bass? Like how would you, you would be freaking out, No, right? you, yeah, you'd be- That's freaking. what's in the pond. That's insanity. Let's do an above shot. Get ready to get wet. We're in the splash zone, by the way. Before we even catch the needlefish, we have to stuff these guys to the brim with a bunch of tilapia. Let's be gentle, oh, please. He's not gonna be gentle. That no. camera's gonna get this soaked. This camera's gotta be soaked. <sighs> oh, oh, he missed sugar. it. Holy crap, here he, comes. here he comes, 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 here he comes. Oh, pods! Just give it to him all, bro. Here he comes. God, oh, it's so scary every two time of them, bro. It. Let's drop one in for pants. Pan, oh pan. my oh. God, bro. See, guys, pots is our problem. Pots is our problem. I agree. I don't know if you guys saw that last video. We caught that ridiculously cool parrotfish that was so sick. Pots would have swallowed that thing like it was just breakfast. A couple eggs in the morning. We're in a seriously tough position. Pots, pants, Look at this guy. This guy's He's pissed off. He's hungry, but pan, pots keep stealing everything. Pants, get something. He's such a lazy fish. Here he comes. Boo! <laughs> He's a brood. It's endless. It's He's a brood. Endless. I'd love to feed the eels, but you know, Pots is the definition of gluttony. Pants! Such a beast, bro. Boom, Pots. Pots, Pots, Pots. See, they're just eating like that. Oh my, oh my God. God. Oh my God, it's still in there. It's still Get in there. it, Pan Pants is blind. Pants, Pants is it's blind. on your nose. There you this, go, this buddy. This fish is blind. That's why he doesn't come up. Pants. 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 Okay, Pants finally got it. Good boy. All right, so that's good. Pants ate two fillets of tilapia, pots ate like five or six. So that is a freaking great start to the day. The fish are fed, now they want a uh, sky on the needlefish. As long as the needlefish is big enough, we're gonna be fine. I'm talking we need a needlefish like this. <laughs> this needs to be the size of the needlefish. Massive. Massive. <laughs> Now we're gonna head over to our local pier where there's a ton of barracudas, there's a ton of needlefish, and there's a lot of blue runners. Just a whole bunch of stuff. They have an underwater cam that you see a whole variety of tarpon. 
sharks, octopus, octopus, parrotfish, lobster, literally everything, and uh, lots of blue runners. So if we do catch, you know, maybe we can catch a few blue runners, we can catch maybe a ladyfish, and we can bring that and feed them as well. That would be great, because we want them to literally just be stuffed, because these fish, they're liabilities, you guys. They are a liability, I'm telling you right now. But it's a beautiful day, the ocean's flat calm. We're gonna head there right now. We're gonna get into a pretty epic day of fishing. So right here, we have the bait of the day. Now, usually there's tons of these pilchards at the pier, but as we get later into fall and into winter, these baits leave the pier. So unfortunately, we had to go spend some money. We bought ourselves some bait, some perfect, perfect size pilchards. We also bought a couple wire rigs in case we come across maybe a big old Betsy Barracuda. But the good part about not being a lot of bait at the pier means when these fish do see a freaking bait, they going for it. They're going to eat it. So this little guy right here will hopefully turn into, hopefully, a I giant mean, needle, a ginormous needle, maybe a three footer. How's we, that carbon monoxide, by the way? Really good. It's good to train the lungs. We have made it to our spot today, the Deerfield International Fishing Pier, baby. Loaded up with needlefish, kudas, all types of fish, all types of really, really cool stuff. And we are here to catch the biggest monster needlefish. And we see a, a giant right here, an absolute giant needlefish right in front of me. It actually has a remora on it, so that would be really cool. Double header, two for one special. Needlefish and remora would be pretty sick. So we're gonna catch as many things as possible. We might start with the needlefish, we might start with the kudas. So the last time we actually did this, we only kept one of the needlefish we caught. We actually caught two of them that day. I had two of them in our cooler, but we only kept one. And that one, like I said in the beginning of the video, the needlefish are so so finicky, they're not hardy at all. You gotta be super quick getting them back to the pond. And he was fine for a little bit, but then it's just that transportation stresses them out. So you need to like, as soon as we catch them, they gotta go in the cooler. They gotta go, we gotta drive right home as soon as we catch them. So that's the plan today. We're gonna try to catch two and bring two home to have a nice little school of needlefish in a pond. We just did the hardest part of the day, which was uh, actually putting water in the cooler. That's done. That feels good. Now the easy part of the day is catching these needlefish because they are savages. All right, we are all rigged up, ladies and gents. We've got that wire rig on there for Mr. Kuda because there's actually a lot of them around and we did just see a needlefish that's so damn big that it has a baby remora, about the same size as this pilchard right here on its back. But there's a lot of kudas here and we're gonna see if we can kick today off with a gorgeous kuda. I think there was more on this side. He just bit me, he just bit me. Got him, got the kuda, got the kuda. For the first catch of the day, a little tiny guy. Look at those teeth on that guy, Holy dude. Cr oh. Even the little ones will really get you. You gotta be actually careful with the little the ones. The little ones have sharper teeth for sure. Yeah. This is just the first catch of the day. We are looking for an absolute giant. This cannot go in the pond. This would get eaten in two seconds. He's past 15 to the fork, that's for damn sure. Whoa, hey, no. Maybe I'll go give it to those nice gentlemen down there. They would eat this. They would eat that? They would love this. Look at that kuda. Ain't that gorgeous? They smell so bad. They literally smell so bad, and look at this slime. They do smell so just, bad. Like, just, it's just gross. I'm gonna go give this to the fine gentleman. Kudas are gross. There. Jack's gonna go give it, give these guys that kuda for food, I guess. These guys are gonna love it. All right. Guys, look at this needlefish right here. This is the one that has, oh, that's a bigger kuda. Oh, oh my God, a it's a kuda. giant kuda, Jack. Get him to eat that. He's got, the no, needlefish we don't it. want the needle. Not yet. We want that giant kuda, bro. Kuda sees it, kuda sees it, kuda sees it, kuda sees it. He just ate it. Okay, let him get that head. I want to get that remora, bro. I know. Once he gets that head down, I'm going to set the hook. It's There's a, a little tiny baby remora like this big, which is so sick. Pots and pans would love to have a friend remora for the pond. Oh my God. Is there a remora on him? No, yes, yes it, is. it is. Got him. Let's go. Look at the baby remora. Look at the baby remora. No. Watch that needle, Don't dude. Don't you go down. That's, that's, that's a nice needle, dude. Wait, should we go put him in the bucket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for a time being. Yes. Oh, Look at that baby remora. my God. That is so freaking cool. Okay, go, hang on. Let's get this the needle. Oh, my God. What? I think almost just took your head off. Why? The bird? Yeah. Now, this needle, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to cut it, dude. <sighs> He's pretty big. He's big, but I think we can get a bigger Look at one. that freaking mouth on that species of fish. That is, they, they are one of the coolest fish. They really are. I mean, although they can be super damn annoying when uh, you're actually trying to catch something like to eat or something, because they go after the bait no matter what, but even just the coloring on that, the blue, everything about this fish is so freaking cool. Like, look at that. So cool. Needlefish. There's definitely some bigger ones around here, no doubt about it. Yeah, but we need a bigger one. We that's need a good start. One. That's a good start. No doubt about it. Really wicked cool. That is sick. All right, let's get this guy back. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. First needlefish of the day, but not the size we wanted. Later, skater. There's many more big ones here. 
many more big ones. We just wanted to catch that one because it had that cool remora on it. Let's go check out that remora. So not only will we have a needlefish going in the pond today, but we are going to be taking this baby remora because it is so freaking cool. And we've always said we wanted one. Look how cool this thing is. That, that is like, is, I've never seen one this small that in my is life. so cool. I've never seen one this small ever. Usually we see them and they're like, you know, 15 Huge. inches, 20 inches. So these are the fish that suck up onto the sharks and, and ride with them and they ride with the big groupers, obviously with needlefish too. That is a little baby roller. We're gonna see if he wants to uh, chill with pots or pans today if he goes in the pond. We'll see how cool it is. Look at that. Oh, oh, he was stuck to Jack's finger in a second. That is fish number one for the day. Now let's go catch a giant. So sadly, you guys can't see in the footage when I released that needlefish because we have to film on the GoPro at the pier. We're not allowed to use the big camera for some reason. A literal five foot cuda almost came and ate that needlefish. So there's a giant down there and they get absolutely massive. There's so many big ones here at the pier and that's what we're gonna hunt for right now is a giant cuda. We're gonna have our fun with those guys. Then we're gonna try to dial in and hunt the needlefish. All right guys, we just had a insanity amount of mullet come ripping through. They're going to the other side right now and there was a couple fish blowing them up. I ended up snagging one with a bare hook luckily. And we're gonna see if we can hopefully catch either whatever's feeding on these guys, a shark, a tarpon, a snook. They're all the way down here. Oh yeah, look at the size of that freaking tarpon. Where? Or no, what is that? It's a cuda. See the cuda, big yeah. cuda right there? Yeah. You just hate it. Circle hook. Oh. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit harder with the circle hook, but it's gonna keep him alive longer. Hey man, you can't remember, we gotta remember something, don't run out of bait. No, we ain't gonna run out of bait. Nah, uh, you know why? We got Molly. We got Molly. That's Molly the Molly. Hey Molly. Oh, nice size, nice size, nice size, nice size. Honestly, perfect size. That's money, dude. Get it down. That's it a down. money needle. Why isn't he eating it? Oh, we got tangled got, in the line. He got scared of the cuda. He got tangled in the line. He got it, he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it. He's eating it. Oh, you butt. Look, you reel it fast like this on top, they go, Wheel. got it, he's got it. Let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it. Feed him, you gotta feed him, you gotta feed him. Got him, got him, got, got him. him, let's go, baby. Got him. First needlefish going home <laughs> for the saltwater pond. I think he's perfectly hooked, bro. I think he's perfectly hooked too, perfect size, perfectly hooked. Oh my God, that thing's bigger than the first one. I think it is too. It was a, a depth perception range. Oh my God, that thing okay. is bigger than the first one, bro. In order for this thing, <gasps> nope, that's not yeah, what we wanted. Not good, not good. Not what we wanted. <laughs> there you go, get him in the water immediately. Good job, good job. Good that's job. nice, okay. Pushing the max size we can take in this cooler. Look at the needlefish, went straight to the freaking. Uh, the remora went right to the needlefish. I mean, the <laughs> look at the needlefish, went straight to the remora. The remora went straight to the needlefish. Perfect, okay, we have to make this let's quick. Go. We got, Jack, we gotta get out there and catch another one know, right let's now. Go. Let's go, like, let's go. We have to be careful with this guy. To make the eating process a little bit quicker, we're gonna make a smaller bait. We got half of a pilchard here. Circle hook had him perfect in the corner mouth. We got a whole school we of, of quick, needles. We gotta be quick, bro. Well, this wait, is the wait, name of the game. It needs to be a speed race, Look at bro. this school of needles. That one might be bigger, actually. Why are they eating it? I don't think they're seeing the bait. You gotta cast on them, bro. You're right, you're make right. Make a good cast for once in your life. Mm -hmm. Nice cast. Perfect cast. See that one from the depths? See the one from the depths coming? Yep, yep, yep. That's a big one. That's oh, a really that's big one. Earl. That's a freaking Earl. Chris, that is an Earl. That is a giant needle. That's bigger than this one for sure. Eat it. Oh, what a baby. He wants to eat it right there. He ain't even taking this thing to bikini. No, he's crushing it. Oh. Throw it back to him. Throw it back to him. He's looking for it. He's like, where'd that thing just go? Oh, there goes my mate. Oh my God. Mr. Fumble the bag strikes again. <laughs> Hurry, dude. They're right there. They're everywhere. Where? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Thing just skied out of the water for it. He wants it. Ned doesn't play. Nice, Ned. Ned's gone. Okay. Ned's gone. That's Jack's Ned's second gone. mess Ned's up. gone. Ned's gone. Mr. Fumble the bag strikes again. Another remora needle. Okay, we need that one. We need the, rem the other remora Another needle. Another remora needle. Confirmed? Confirmed. Where? Big boy. I think this one's smart. We're gonna name this needle Remy. This one's smart. You know what you have to do the smart ones? What? Live bait him. He's freaking huge. Oh, they're fighting over it. They're fighting over it. Let's go. Needle fish on. Needle fish Let's go. We got another one. Let's go. Kim, that's four strike. Guys. That's, that's five. That's four or five strikes on. Can we can we play them all back? No, you're. Can you're, we play them back? Sure. Five in a row right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ned doesn't play. Nice, Ned. Ned's gone. Let's go. Needle fish on. Needle fish Let's go. We got another one. Let's go. Oh. When I tell you that Jack is Mr. Fumble the Bag, that's his actual new name. So it's Mr. Fumble the Bag Jack. You know what? I'm just waiting for the right one. I do those. Per I do that purposely. Got him on. Let him Got eat it. it. Let him eat it. For one time in your life, let him eat it. He ate it. 
Six. You should retire from fishing. I've never seen someone go on a dry spell with needlefish. <laughs> we caught our second needlefish just now. There's construction right next to our, our cooler. But we finally got the second needlefish. It's a lot smaller than the first one. We're trying to catch a bigger one than that one, but that is our, uh, that's our backup. He's on deck. That's our second needlefish of the day. That will be a little school, the big one and the small one. But right now, we're at least gonna try one more bait to try to catch a bigger needlefish. They look absolutely insane. They're literally lime green. It's gonna be super cool in the pond to see them swimming around. As long as they make it there, we gotta be super quick. Me and Jack are the only people on this pier right now, except the workers up there fixing the trash can. Only, only people on the pier, you know why? Because it is a blistering 317 degrees. Not too shabby. The fish guys are always, we're always the last to leave any spot because we, we can power through the heat. We have made it back, ladies and gentlemen, and we actually got three needles. Three needles, triple threat. It's a whole, it's a full blown school. Not just two, but three because they're so finicky that hopefully they can actually make it in the pond. So we got three. Pots looks very full. Pans looks even more full. I think we gotta check out our eels and get them in there. Our eels, our needlefish. So we were thinking about the Remora. We actually let him go back to the water. We attached him on a, on a little pill shirt, sent him down like a little missile, Woo! back into the water because we're thinking we need to get a little bit of a bigger one. That one was like this big, maybe like that big would be perfect, but we do have our needlefish. Check them out. Three big Gorgeous. boys. Three big boy needles in here. Let's go. Look at these guys. So sick. They're a little bit uh, less colorful because the lid was closed on them. But we got three needles going in the pond. That's a school of needles if I've ever seen one. Dude, look at that. That one's like super thin. Like he's not very fat. And then you got this one that's down here who's a little bit thicker. He's a little bit thicker of a boy right there. Beautiful. Look at those things. Triple needles. Triple threat. Triple threat. So they're so not hardy, guys. They're the most non hardy fish in the world. So we're going to try to get them in here and See if they can actually swim off. Ultra delicate. Look how long that one is, bro. That's that's above average. Though. That is that is a big needle. Look at that thing. Like is it above average or below average? This is definitely above. Look at that. Almost no tail to freaking to the tip of the nose is literally almost there. That's crazy. We just put our first one in. We wanted to get one for the thumbnail and just put them in for a nice little clip of the first one going in. This one was kind of doing the worst out of the three in the bucket, and he is actually thriving in here. Look at him. Swimming around like a champ. He's running into the uh, thermometer over there though, so that's a problem. Take but it easy, buddy, that's a actually, thermometer. He's actually doing good. Trying to figure out everything going on. He can squeeze right behind and that. sooner or later, if they actually make it in here, they will become, uh, Dude, they will very sick. quickly understand that we are food because they eat and like eat and crazy. eat. They just nonstop eat. So that's our first one added in. Let's get the other two in though. That is gonna be fun. Now, as we're putting all the needlefish in, drop a comment down below of the three names of the needlefish. It's the Three Stooges. So we have three different needlefish. I think we named one, uh, what do we name him? Ned, Ned the Needle. Ned the Needle, I think. But I don't know. If you guys wanna comment down the three names of the needlefish, comment down below. If they actually make it and we have three needlefish in here, that would be really cool. All right, so here we go. Let's shut this aerator off so we don't have to listen to that the whole time. But we have two more needlefish. These ones are actually holding up really, really well inside of the cooler, as you guys can see. They're upright, which is freaking awesome. That's 10 out of 10. The other one was upside down. The other one was like, like that, but look at that. Ow! Dude. Look what he just did! You just got speared by a needlefish. I just got speared by a needle. Took my freaking uh, thread out. Look at that. She got speared by a needlefish. Look at this, dude. This guy is, he's All right. feisty. All right. like he's Good. ready. Be careful with him. Like he's ready to Be go. Be careful with him. Watch this, he's gonna Hold go on. right in. Go for it. All right, buddy, here you go. Get inside here, go to your other needlefish friend, go swim right to Chris. Give him a little revival. There he goes. Let's go! They're doing much better. Right on top of the water. That's dude. awesome. It's all about a quick, a quick uh, transportation. Look at this guy chilling right next to me. Dude, right he looks me. so good. That one's actually sitting like really good. This one's doing great. He's not, he's not like upside down. He's, he's just totally swimming. Guy is doing great in here. Okay, we have one more to do and uh, we are good. And we can have our three needlefish in the pond. This guy's got some cool color. Really cool. He's like neon. He is freaking epic. Look at these things. These things are wicked. They're really cool. So damn cool, the needlefish. And we're gonna have three of them. Three of them. Let's get this guy in. Oh, look at that. You can, that's it. I'm pretty sure that's his brain. What? Right there. Their heads are kind of translucent or transparent. So his brain just shows? His brain's just there. Very interesting. Big brain, big brain. Let's put them right here with his buddies. Look at, they're following each other. 
Those other two are following each other. Whoa! That guy's oh, got spunk. He's got spunk. Let's go! All three are in! Let's go! That is so awesome, dude. Look at them. One, two, three. They're all kind of, you know, staying together. That's the thing with the needlefish, even at the pier. They all, once you find one needlefish, they're all usually there. Exactly, they're so. all together. We have our three needlefish in the pond. They look so freaking cool. Once we give them a little bit of time, they're gonna brighten up, get that neon blue color, get that, get that neon green color, and they're gonna look really cool in here. As long as they make it and we start feeding them regularly, they're gonna be like literally, they're gonna be like the koi fish of the saltwater pond. They're gonna come right up to us and eat anything we put in there because they literally eat everything that hits the water. That's why they're so easy to catch. You go to the pier, caught a bunch of needles, came back to the pond. So they look absolutely fantastic in here. The three stooges, AKA the three needles. We need some names down in the comments, so jump below. These guys are awesome. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy these three new additions to the saltwater pond. Be sure you guys comment down below what you guys think we should name them. Three Musketeers, Mo, Larry, Curly. You, know, you let us know down below in the comment section. We love you guys. We'll catch you on that next one. Later.